Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about The Flash Season 7. We've got a big new article to go over. So there is some teasers as in regards to Season 7 of The Flash. And this is coming just like, you know, it came out on the 10th. So a few days before DC Fandom Part 2. And we're going to talk about a bit to do with that because that's coming later tonight. So... Anyway, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So yeah, DC Fandom Part 2 is coming tonight, and you know, some of you guys might have forgot that they split into two events, so basically what's happening tonight is most of the TV stuff in regards to DC is happening. Obviously we had the Flash panel and we had a Titans panel, but... You know, the Flash panel was actually cut down. If you guys didn't know, if it felt a bit choppy, it's because they did edit it heavily down. The real panel was about 40 minutes long, and the panel they showed was about 10 to 15 minutes long. So they cut down a lot, and there were so many questions asked, and the answers didn't kind of line up because they didn't let them fully explain what they were going to explain. So that is what you're going to see tonight. You're going to see a 40 minute long panel being released, and we'll talk about it tomorrow when it's fully out and I'm guessing it's going to be quite late so we'll have to wait and see but I will be covering it on the channel and you guys should be sure to check out DC Fandom go to dcfandom.com and you know watch these panels because you got the extended flash one coming out tonight but also you got the other DC TV shows like Legends of Tomorrow, Batwoman, Superman and Lois and everything I'm very excited for Superman and Lois specifically because I kind of want to know some stuff that is going to be happening in season one because right now we only know a few things, we know a few characters are coming, like a different version of Lex, and we know that there is Superman and Lois, but we don't know, you know, too much about the story, so I'm intrigued, and I really hope they show, like, some sort of first look at, like, Batwoman, like, Javicia Leslie in her costume, that would be awesome, I'm kind of expecting that, I'll be a bit surprised if they don't use DC fandom to hype it up, and, you know, right now, Batwoman is shooting their season 2, so... I mean, it makes sense, right? So, we'll have to wait and see, but DC Fandom Part 2 is tonight. You guys should check it out because it's going to be very exciting. Lots of panels to do with our DC TV show specifically, so yeah, get ready for that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and move on to today's topic. This is this article from Entertainment Weekly. The title is The Flash Boss, and he says, Joe rises up in Season Seven story inspired by recent societal changes. So this is coming from EW and so they've got this article and they actually hosted the panel so the writer of this article, Chancellor, was actually the guy you saw in the proper panel at you know DC Fandom Part 1 and he's going to be in tonight's longer version of the panel. I'm guessing he got some sort of insight and he was able to get the go ahead to post an article just before DC Fandom Part 2 because he was able to maybe draw on this from what you know they said so yeah let's go ahead and read this article It's very interesting and i think it will give us some insight as to some of the storylines happening in this season specifically to do with joe and i'm kind of excited that joe's gonna have more of a storyline because he doesn't always have the biggest storyline you know every season so i think it's good that he's finally getting something more occasionally every season he gets something but you know, mainly the main focus is like obviously Barry, Iris, Caitlin, and Cisco, and some of the newer characters. So I'm very happy to see Joe getting some more, especially this season. Okay, so the Flash will draw on recent societal changes in season seven. In a recent interview with showrunner Eric Wallace, EW asked if the ongoing discussion is about how law enforcement is depicted in pop culture, sparked by the wave of national social justice protests, will impact the CW super drama given that two of its main characters work for the police force. That is Joe West, played by Jesse L. Martin, and he is the captain of the Central City Police Department, and Barry Allen, played by Grant Gustin, who moonlights as the titular Scarlet Speedster, is a forensic scientist. Without going into specifics, Wallace confirmed Joe will have a topical storyline in season 7, and this is a quote from Eric Wallace. Joe's storyline this season is inspired by societal changes happening in today's world, Wallace told EW. Because with everything we're all waking up to every day in 2020, I feel there was a great opportunity here, even with our fantastical family-oriented show, 
to comment indirectly on truths folks could easily recognize and do so in an entertaining way. While Wallace didn't share too many details about the plot, he teased it would test Team Flash's beloved father figure like never before, and this is the quote again, as we're working our way through Joe's wonderful storyline this year, Joe gets challenged by the events of the world that are going on nowadays, of course in a sci-fi superhero way because we're on a superhero show and he really rises up, he said, I'm so proud of the character and I'm so excited for Jesse to take Joe in just a little bit of a new direction because Joe's a good man with a good heart and if he sees injustice he's not the person to turn a blind eye to it, he's a person who says something and does something. He continued, I'm happy to report that we're working on the scripts actually right now and we're working it into the scripts. It's not in the first batch, it's more in the middle of season seven. It will be very obvious as Joe goes through these changes and ends up in a place that's unexpected for him, but that is honorable and very aware of today's problems from a law perspective. So it's made the storytelling for the character's storyline, I think the most exciting thing that I've been able to write for him since I've been the showrunner. I just can't wait for folks to see it. And they go on to say Wallace, who joined the series in season four and was promoted to showrunner ahead of season six, admits he never anticipated taking Joe in this direction. This is a quote. We were laughing about it the other day in the writer's room. We were like, I never saw this story coming for Joe. How cool was this and how interesting that we can actually comment on what's happening in the real world but do it in a fun way, in a lighter and entertaining way. It just makes our show richer and makes the character I think rich and it makes us love him even more, Wallace said. So this is all really interesting so it was a very good read of an article. It gives us an idea of what Joe is specifically doing this season. Obviously this article is specifically about Joe and this video is mainly about Joe so this is a major new storyline that will happen and Eric did confirm that it's happening in season 7. It's not going to happen at the start, however it will happen later. That is a thing that is 100% coming to the show, it's been confirmed and so this is a major storyline that you guys should be on the lookout for. In regards to the Arrowverse as a whole, obviously the Arrowverse and comic books in general have never shied away from tackling what's happening in the real world and social justice and everything like that. So it's nothing too surprising, I wouldn't say I'm surprised, I think it's a good thing and especially who they're portraying on the shows and what's happening in real life. I think it's very great of them that they're going along that and I think for you guys who are hesitant and I know a lot of you who maybe you support the ideas they show but you kind of don't like it in your comic book shows, I think for you guys who are hesitant out there this is very very good for you because you're kind of getting the sort of commentary on real life but the way he says it and he specifically says it a lot of times he says it's going to be in an entertaining way, it's not going to be super serious but it's going to be there and it's going to be sort of like you know part of his story but it's not going to be like overpowering the whole season or something like that i think you know supergirl does a very good job at this but you know sometimes they're a bit too hammy sometimes they you know put that in the forefront before a really interesting story but you know sometimes they do it really well on supergirl and you get something like, you know, the transgender storyline with Nia and everything that is really, really good. So, you know, I think the CW does do it well and I have full confidence in Eric Wallace and I think this interview should be good for all of you out there. I don't think you should have any problems with this because it's not going to be, you know, too in your face or anything like that if you are hesitant about having some sort of political ideas in your show even if you support those political ideas but you want your comic book shows to just be comic book shows and Eric acknowledges this in the article and so he's excited for the opportunity here and he realizes you know this could be a good opportunity to do it in an entertaining way so yeah that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching remember DC Fandom part 2 tonight there's going to be an extended flash panel for you guys to check out also, there might be some new looks at some of our other shows like Batwoman, considering they started filming, and maybe we'll get a look at the Batwoman suit. But anyway, so go check out DC Fandom tonight. DCFandom.com is where you can check it all out. And there is a schedule up on there if you want to find out what time the panels are. So yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
I see red.